Hello, my name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mag channel where I am documenting my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you are new, and you're a viewer, but not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to follow my journey towards debt freedom, building wealth, early retirement, or work independence, paying debt alone as a married woman or as a married woman paying debt alone. In today's video, we will be going over my February paycheck to budget and let's get right into it. So first of all, don't mind my nails. Yesterday, one clicked off and I went to go get it repaired today in a fill-in and I got there too late. So I am actually up recording at 6.30 in the morning because by 9.30, I want to be able to be the first one of the first people there so I can get in and get out. Anyway, aside from that, so first things first, sorry. We have my savings amount. These are automatically, well, they're not automatic. Well, the Christmas is automatically um, deducted and I have to go into my Christmas sinking fund. And then I save 225 a month. Well, a pay period actually. Those bring um, my Christmas sinking fund to $400 and my personal savings to $6,948. Uh, at the beginning of this year, I did have $10,000, but if you watched the previous video, you saw that I paid my 401k loan off when I got offered another job. So that brings my total savings to $7,348. My income for this pay period, this is my full-time income. If you are new here, I am I am a social worker in Child Protective Services. I work after hours and on call, which is part of the reason why I'm up because I got a phone call to take a report at four something in the morning and I just can't go back to sleep. But anyway, um, so my full-time paycheck was $2,379.10. This is not regular. Um, this is not an average of my pay. My pay is always higher the first and the last of the year because of all the holidays. So um, this one included, I think this one included MLK holiday. After this paycheck, um, the pay will probably be more frequent. I mean, more, um, much lower for one. And they will be about the same. Um, my second is my consulting income from my part-time job. That is a 1099 Um flat rate of $900 and then I got paid on the 10th from my other part-time job that one is much more is extremely low right now um the health department where I live is focusing on administering the um COVID-19 vaccine and so many of the clinics are shut down anyhow that brings a total of $3,423 and 17 cent. My target debt for this pay period is Fed loan. I am starting to pay Fed loan. And so um, I have a video coming. It was supposed to air on Saturday, but I got so caught up in my stepson's birthday and all of those activities that I did not get around to editing it and putting it and uploading it. But it will come up this Saturday. Um, regular fixed expenses, my mortgage is 510, Sprint, which is my kid's cell phone, 146.42, Hulu is 641, Netflix is 1920, Apple Storage comes out on the 10th is 999, Fed loan, this is my regular Fed loan payment, $300, Best Buy, I'm paying $30 this pay period, and Planet Fitness that includes two subscriptions, but I'm getting ready to cancel my daughter's subscription and my son's because they are going back to school. That brings the total for my fixed expenses to $1,042.02. Variable expenses for this pay period, I, um, I am consulting with another provider to uh, while I'm in the process of starting up my private practice. And then that fee was 100 
it may she may come back and charge either fifty dollars or seventy five dollars because there has been some miscommunication in our community there's been some miscommunication then my daughter needs some dentist work and that is two hundred and forty dollars for a total of three hundred and forty dollars then we get down here to my cash envelopes and my sinking funds they are slight um my groceries are a hundred dollars my husband and i contribute a hundred dollars and we eat about two hundred dollars of food a week or bi-weekly uh, well yeah bi-weekly Ooh, excuse me. Gas is seventy dollars. I have already spent seventy dollars. I have filled up my tank twice already, so this may have to go up. I gave myself a hundred dollars in spending money. I have already maxed that out. I found me some Timberlands. I that's all I wanted for Christmas was some Timberlands and some AirPods, and I wasn't able to find the Timberland. Well, my husband wasn't able to find the Timberlands. Anyhow, I found them and I ordered them as soon as I found them. So that totaled $117. Then I also bought me some workout, a workout outfit, some gym clothes. Um, so I have already spent over my $100. Anyhow, my um, tides are $237.90 and that is off of my full-time income. I am not paying out commissions. That is paid at the end of the month. And then gifts was $50 for Valentine's Day, but I exceeded that as well. I don't know what the total is at this time. Anyhow, my cash envelopes came up to $557.90. Sinking funds, my taxes, I had taken out, I had budgeted 25%, but I'm gonna do 15%. And that is $135. Then travel sinking fund is $150, and $100 is going into a car sinking fund for that is not right. Um, 3.85, which messes up all this math down here. Anyhow, this is my income: three thousand four hundred twenty-three dollars and seventeen cents. Savings of two seventy-five. Expenses of thirteen eighty-two. Sinking funds. 385. So three, four, two, three, one, seven, minus two, seventy-five, minus one, three, eight, two, oh, two, minus three, eight, five minus uh-uh wait wait okay that might have been right three four two three point seventeen minus two seven five minus three eight five minus one three eight two oh two minus three eight five minus one three eight five minus one three eight five minus three eight five minus one three eight five And as you can see, $800 was going towards additional debt. And the 68 that I thought I was going to have was going into savings. But that is now $23.25. So that is my budget for my second paycheck. I do get another paycheck on the 25th from my part-time job. And I am starting super, I have started to supervise uh, an associate's uh, LCSW that'll be $50 an hour is four hours a month so um once I get that income it will be it may reflect on my closeout budget as for now this is what the goal is to be able to at least apply an additional $800 towards my Fed loan but I have gone so I have gone over my spending so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make that um commitment this is my budget template. It is available in my Etsy shop for $1.25. It is an instant download as soon as you pay. Um, and it can you can go, so it is a Word document, not a PDF. So you can go in and edit it however you want it to be edited. Um, the actual 
document that is downloaded has uh, the dates here instead of the word actual, but I went in and changed it for because that was more effective for my um, budget closeout videos. But you can go in and edit it however you would like to, but it is this format. And again, that is $1.25 and the link to my Etsy shop will be listed down below in the description box. But that is it for my February Paycheck 2 budget. For whatever reason, it seems like February is going um, pretty slow. I don't know what that is about. Uh, I think maybe because I'm supposed to be starting a new job on March the 1st and well, actually now it's March the 15th. And so maybe that I'm anxious to get to that point and start receiving uh, the two full-time incomes and start tackling my student loans. But um, that is where I am. This is my budget. This is the video. Thank you so very much for clicking on this video. If you have not already, please consider subscribing. Comment down below how your budget, um, your budget for February is going. I don't do monthly budgets. I break it down um, but per pay period because a monthly budget, the, ov the overview of it kind of gives me anxiety, makes me nervous. Um, so I break it down into baby steps and go from paycheck to paycheck. So, comment down below how your budget is going. Any questions about my budget that you may have. Thank you so very much for clicking on this video. Do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey, not a destination. Bye!